is MBDC back with another video for you guys here today. And today we are talking about Black Lightning season two, episode 13, entitled chapter three, The Pillar of Fire. So this goes without saying, spoilers are in this video. So if you have not seen the episode, please do not watch this video. And also like and subscribe if you already haven't more DC TV reviews to come soon. And share this with all your DC TV loving friends. Do not hesitate, don't be scared. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get right into the episode. So, first of all, sorry for this late review. It's been a crazy week, but man, this has been a crazy episode. So this was, I think, was one of the best episodes of the season so far. We got a lot of stuff in this episode. So just a quick recap, because I'm not gonna go like in depth of everything. If you've seen the episode already, no need to recap every little single thing, but we got Grace Choi last episode running off and leaving. So we got Anissa using Gamby to investigate, to do some background searching, to figure out where she came from and where she might be going. So we found out some interesting stuff about Grace Choi. So we found out that her name was like Shiley Wild, something like that, which that doesn't correlate with the comics for all of, all of you who are wondering, there's no person in the comics by that name. Her name is really Grace Choi in the comics. She's an Amazon, she's an Amazonian, not a metahuman, but they don't know about her metahuman side yet. So she ran off, uh, they test her drug that she was taking her little pill, figure out that it's for schizophrenia, extreme sch schizophrenia, figure out the people that the little picture that she found in her dresser drawer in her house was like a foster parents that died and and stuff like that. So we got a little bit of investigating on Grace Choi. We got uh, Black Lightning and the whole fallout from the whole principal, or Jeff, I shouldn't even say Black Lightning, I should say Jefferson. Jefferson maybe getting his old job back as a principal because of the fallout when Jennifer did that sit-in at the school with the principal and they, they're calling him racist and all this and he's unfit to care for Garfield the way he should. But Jefferson decides while he's there, he has too much stuff going on in his life to give all his attention to Garfield. He doesn't want to leave them high and dry. So looks like Mike Lowry is still around for now. I know some people were like, yeah, he's gone. Woo, he's going to be gone. And he ain't gone just yet, it looks like. So eh, we got to deal with him a little bit more. But that pr probably pretty much means we get to see Jefferson in the suit a lot more than we have been lately. He didn't really suit up in this episode till the end, which we'll get to that in a second. Also, we got Lightning going out there full lightning mode, kicking some butt with the 100, trying to find Tobias. She goes into a club, she beats them up a little bit, and then she goes to the, mo the I think it was the Seahorse Motel from uh, season one when they got kidnapped, when Black Lightning first had to go kick some butt. So I think she went to that, the 100 Motel, and met up with a new painkiller to find out where Tobias is. But it was a trap, it was a setup. So they all rushed her, they all came up in cars and tried rushing her. She went full lightning mode, throwing lightning bolts and lightning Hadoukens, <laughs> Hadoukens, and she was all getting all crazy. And then she gets into what I call full human torch mode where the flames, like the lightning electricity, it looks like flames kind of comes out of her body. I think she like overloaded her like body herself and she passed out, but luckily the cops reported it in. Thunder heard it and came to the rescue and had to knock some fools out because they were, you know, obviously going to shoot a passed out Jennifer. So Lightning came to the rescue. But then we get to the real juicy stuff this episode. They finally wake up one of the MOD. We finally get Marcus Bishop, a.k.a. Shakedown, my boy Malik from the game, <laughs> finally making an appearance. I'm pretty juiced about that. I was juiced that he's we got to see him. He fought Cutter a little bit when they first woke him up. And they're using the whole, like, it's not a bomb in the neck, but it's like a disa like a disable, like it knocks him out, like type thing. So that way Tobias can't control him. But Tobias saying, hey, I don't want to control you. I want a partner. I don't, I don't want a puppet. And I don't know, my first thought when they talked about the bomb thing is, so it's like, Suicide Squad? Are we getting Black Lightning's version of the Suicide Squad? Eh, seems so. So... I just thought that was a pretty funny little reference to, to the Suicide Squad. And then we got to see him in action. We got to see how his powers work when him and Cutter break into the ASA to steal the pod kids at the end. We got to see how his powers work. Like he can like force people down with his like sonic vibration kinesis or whatever you call it. So and even when he was fighting Cutter and Cutter threw the knife at him, he like stopped it with his like vibration. So he's going to be a pretty powerful character. I can't wait to see Black Lightning go up against him. That's going to be an interesting fight. 
uh, especially him versus Thunder, because that's going to be interesting to see how that whole whole thing goes down with Thunder and Shakedown. But I was pretty juiced to see Shakedown waking up. I can't wait till the rest of the MLD gets woken up. And they basically go in, steal the pod kids at the end. Like I said, like when they go in and steal the pod kids, they steal them, bring them back to Tobias's little underground chamber layer thing. But Tobias is not planning on using these pod kids to do his bidding. He planning on he plans on being a pod kid arms dealer. So he's gonna sell these pod kids off. So now you're gonna have bad people running around with metas doing bad things. And then you know they talked about the Markovians and, and stuff like that. So apparently the MOD was put in the pods 25 years ago by Dr. Jace. So we got some little timeline references there. So they're from about 25 years ago. They haven't been seen since. But it's gonna be interesting to see. I don't know if there's gonna be any extra villains that hopefully there's extra meta villains that come out of this pod who Black Lightning and the team have to stop. Because again, like I said before in my DT, DC TV discussion video, Black Lightning fighting the 100, it <sighs> gangsters, it gets repetitive a little bit. It's like, I wanna see him go full on Black Lightning mode on somebody. So I hope some of these metas in the pods happen to be villains and that gives us more metas to fight. So it was a good episode, a really, really good episode. Like I said, I think it was the best episode of this season. If you have not seen it, I don't know why you're still watching to this point, but go watch it. Best episode of the season. Tobias has a pod kids. And oh yeah, Cutter buys Todd Green a new car. And then you see the car explode. I was like, oh, they killed my boy Todd Green. Like, why they gotta kill him? Just let him let him ride off into the sunset. I know he's done his job. Why you gotta kill my boy like that? So it, I just was like, man, kill, killed off my boy Todd Green. But yeah, a lot of stuff happened in this episode. We got Cutter and Tobias back together. They're reigniting their, reigniting their relationship. Dr. Jace escapes from the ASA. Shakedown's woken up. Pa kids have been taken. Lightning goes full lightning mode. It's just a matter of time until we get her suit. They were testing her in the beginning. Uh, Jefferson and Gamby put her in this little chamber. We're testing to see if she could control her powers. So that's just a matter of time before she gets in the suit. Hopefully we get Grace Choi coming back. Hopefully the investigation leads somewhere. So that way Anissa can go and find out where Grace Choi is, get some answers. Cause I'm curious too, on what they're gonna do with her full backstory and how she got her powers. Was she a pod kid? Did she escape? Was she from Markovia? Is she from 25 years ago when they put down the MOD? I'm just curious to see exactly, you know, how that whole thing's gonna work out. Great choice. So a lot of stuff happened in this episode. Good episode. Can't wait till next week. Or actually not next week, two, three weeks, I think. It's I think Legends might be coming back. So no black lining for two, three weeks. But I'm still going to be making videos, obviously, so that won't slow me down any. Just won't have any Black Lightning videos here on the channel. So this has been it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. And also do not forget to hit that subscribe button. You do not want to miss my DC videos and reviews coming up soon. See you guys in the next one. Peace.